This video demonstrates onyx embolization of an atriovenous malformation in a 21-year-old female who presented with complaints of right upper arm swelling and pain. Shown here is the atriovenous malformation. On an MRA, she also had an arterial duplex done that showed normal triphasic waveforms in the right axillary artery. Just distal to the axillary artery, disturbed colored flow with low resistance and high velocity waveforms suggested of AV malformation were also found. We began by accessing the right common femoral artery under ultrasound guidance. This was followed by upsizing to a 5 French sheet over a wire. After selectively catheterizing the right axillary artery, a right upper extremity angiogram was then performed as shown in this video that demonstrated a atriovenous malformation. It was fed by a branch of a brachial artery and also bilateral circumflex humeral artery coming off from the axillary artery. Once this angiogram was performed, we decided to select first the branch coming off the brachial artery. For this purpose, we advanced a five by 90 millimeter long sheath in the proximal brachial artery. This was followed by an introduction of a glide catheter and with the help of glide catheter and wire we were able to cannulate this branch coming off the brachial artery. This is followed by introduction of a micro catheter into this branch coming off the brachial artery and feeding into the arteriovenous malformation. This is an echelon micro catheter which is DMSO compatible. This is followed by performing an angiogram through this microcatheter and visualizing the flow through the arteriovenous malformation. Prior to performing onyx embolization, the microcatheter is flushed with 0.34 cc of DMSO. We then begin with performing our onyx embolization of this arteriovenous malformation. Care is taken while performing on embolization not to do this rapidly as it can lead to potential embolization towards the venous system and into the heart and also to protect onyx from embolizing towards the arterial system and in this case from the brachial artery distally into the radial and ulnar arteries. For the demonstration of this video, onyx embolization has been speeded up, although it's performed slowly for the previously mentioned reasons. A repeat angiogram was then performed that demonstrated cessation of flow into the AV malformation from this branch of brachial artery. He then proceeded to select the lateral circumflex humeral artery coming off the axillary artery and feeding into the arteriovenous malformation. Next, a microcatheter was introduced into this branch of axillary artery and a selective angiogram was then performed to delineate the anatomy of this branch feeding into the AV malformation. Shown here is the microcatheter into this branch of axillary artery. This is followed by injection of onyx into this branch. This completed our onyx embolization of this branch of axillary artery. A completion angiogram is then performed that shows no flow into the AV malformation. This concludes our video on onyx embolization of arteriovenous malformation of right upper extremity.